Oh, well, uh, it is nothing like a fiasco because both Amul and Nandini are cooperatives and we have as a cooperative organizations been working together in close cooperation with each other uh, for a large number of years. Uh, the, I mean, the issue actually uh, about people talking about Amul's entry into Karnataka and it affected, it will affect Nandini is a bit far-fetched because uh, it's not, our entry into Karnataka is not recent. We launched Amul Milk in North Karnataka markets of Belgaon, Hubli way back in 2015-16 and ever since then we have been selling there. And this proposed entry of Amul into e in the Bangalore market through the e-com channel was actually very short, a small in initiative to make the products available uh, to the people who want Amul milk at the Amul milk prices uh, as compared to Nandini which prices are very very uh, uh, low. Uh, so it was a very small effort on our side to get into that market. Uh, it cannot affect Nandini in any way. Nandini is also aware about that and they also made statements around that that uh, there is nothing can go wrong with Nandini and that's what never has been the intention of Amul uh, to work against the interests of Nandini. As we talk, more than 30-40,000 liters of ice cream every day is being packed at three plants of Karnataka Milk Federation using Nandini's milk and converting into ice cream which is being sold in Karnataka and rest of South India. During COVID, when there was no demand of milk in the rest of the country and Karnataka, they had a lot of surplus milk. We converted as much as 2 lakh liters of milk every day, made more than 5,000 tons of cheese out of it and that 200 crore rupees worth of cheese was purchased. So this was an Amul's gesture to work with the farmers of Karnataka, help them out in times of crisis and this association will continue uh, in the years to come.